guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Every week I come on and I share what sold from last week. So I'm going to share a breakdown of my sales numbers, cost of goods, things like that on eBay and Poshmark. I sold a lot of items last week and so I'm going to pick a handful of them to share with you. That way you guys can know some things that I think you should look for at your local thrift store to flip online for a profit. Let's dive in. All right, you guys, so all the sales you see in front of you happen between November 14th through the 20th. That is a Sunday through a Saturday. Just sharing sales for my two main platforms, which are eBay and Poshmark. In total, I sold 102 items for a gross sales total of $3,750.72. I believe that's a new record for me. That is uh, really high for us, but I'm hoping it'll be the new normal and our consistent listing of 20 a day is really paying off. Uh, we just also went over 4,000 active listings. Um, so definitely a lot of growth in our store. Average sale price was $36.77. Estimated cost of goods based on an average buy cost was $408. And then estimated net after cost of goods, fees, and shipping cost was $2,240.88. On eBay, I sold 70 items. On Poshmark, I sold just 32. Um, almost reached 3,000 on eBay at just over $2,900 and then $828 on Poshmark. We're gonna dive right into the sales. I think you guys are gonna see a lot of a lot of a good mix of some high valued items and a lot of just lower bread and butter brands. Um, but all of those add up and I really focus once again on just a high sell through rate. So this first one is a North Face men's Western shirt. Typically, I don't like to pick up uh, North Face men's shirts unless they are super cheap, but we did pay full price for this one. We paid $4.99 at a thrift store. The reason I felt comfortable paying up for it was because of the Southwestern print, and it was almost like a shirt jacket, uh, but we did list it as a shirt, but it was a little bit thicker. Had this listed for $34.91, and it did sell for full asking price. On this item in particular, we did offer free shipping, it looks like. Next up is this J. Crew women's uh, tunic sweater. This was a blend of merino wool and alpaca. Those materials really help to up the value of items, especially alpaca. And this was also a new-ish label in J. Crew, size large, also a great size. I think I must have picked this up um, through online arbitrage because it says I paid $11.16 for it. Um, but still a great return on investment because it did end up selling at full asking price of $39.99. This Talbot's piece we picked up strictly for the material. It was 100% merino wool, had a really nice Nordic pattern to it, and it was a longer length. All of those factors combined helped to up the value for me because Talbot's once again, typically isn't a brand that I would pick up. I accepted an offer of $30 for this and we paid $6.99. Here's an example of a style of a sweater that you can look for regardless of uh, price and regardless of brand because it does sell for so much. This is the brand Protégé. That's not important. What is important is the 3D knit. So you can kind of see the raised 3D here. If you ever see anything wacky like this, definitely take a look into it. You can usually sell them for, with the off brands, $40 to $60. And then of course, if you find the Holy Grail Kuji sweater, which I have only found one of in my reselling lifetime. Those are worth hundreds, but even the Kuji dupes like this one here do very well. This is on the lower end of what you can get for these, and that is because this is kind of a neutral, not super exciting color. Uh, if you get ones that are super vibrant, multi-color that aren't your basic neutrals, you can ask for a lot more. We paid only 50 cents for this. Thrift stores don't typically value these 3D knit off-brand sweaters, but I do. So we paid 50 cents and it sold for full asking price of $39.92. We paid up for this item. I paid $14.99 for this Harley Davidson corduroy barn coat. Harley Davidson does very well, especially the old school looking stuff with the logos embroidered into them. 
Uh, barn coat is also just a great style to sell during this time of the year. So I paid 15 bucks for it. It sold for $95. Next up is one of my favorite brands to sell. This is Cool, K-U-H-L. This is just a women's goose down vest. I pick up pretty much everything in this brand. We paid $4.99 for this. It sold on an offer for $44. You guys know I really love picking up band tees, especially unique ones. And even if there's not a whole lot of information on it, um, if it is somewhat more unique, I will pick it up. I paid $4.39 for this one. This is an every time I die band tee and I picked this up before Halloween. It didn't end up selling till after Halloween, but you can see why I would pick it up. Really nice colors, um, nice graphic on there and unique, maybe not so well heard of bands do great on eBay when it comes to t-shirts. So once again, I paid $4.39 for this and we sold this for full asking price, $44.99. This is a Foot Joy men's zip, half zip pullover. Foot Joy is a great brand to look for in the men's department and even sometimes in women's, but especially in the men's. You're gonna notice the, uh, you're gonna notice that the label most often says FJ, so it might not exactly say Foot Joy, but that's what that means. This is a men's 2XL great size. Most oftentimes these golf pullovers have some kind of company embroidery logo on it, but this one did not. I like picking up the ones that have no logo, but sometimes if it is a, a good logo, like a well-known golf course, I'll still pick it up. This stuff sells really, really well. Pick this up for $4.39. It's sold on an offer for $44.99. This is a Knox Rose sweater. You guys know this is one of our new bread and butter brands we love picking up at the bins. We actually got this half price at a thrift store for just $2 and because it was a more substantial piece and we've been having good luck with this brand, we decided to take a chance on it. So it paid $2. It did end up selling very quickly at our full asking price of $19.89. Here is another J. Crew piece. You can tell I like picking up substantial pieces in this brand. This style in any brand is doing really well right now. This super, super like Sherpa deep pile uh, snap pullover. And this like cream color with the blue did really good. Paid $4.39. It sold on an offer for $31.40 very quickly. Another brand we like to pick up in substantial pieces is Nike, especially in the sweatshirts and hoodies. I'll pick these up all day long. We paid $4.39 for this. It sold um, for full asking price, $24.89, and I can almost guarantee that I'm gonna get at least 25 bucks for the Nike sweatshirts. Here's another bread and butter brand that we're liking picking up at the bins. It has a great sell-through rate. The brand is Universal Thread. This brand is just sold at Target, but it does really well. Got this because it was an ombre, uh, kind of like shawl caftan thing. Um, so kind of a unique piece. We picked this up at the bins, so not a whole lot invested there. It sold on the offer for $18. Also picked these up at the bins. These are a pair of men's or sorry, women's Timberland boots. So Timberland boots in both men's and women's do very good. I think a lot of the times people pass on them because they don't, they aren't in like the best condition. Like you can see here, these have a little bit of wear on them, but the work boots with a little bit of wear still do very good. Once again, we picked these up at the bins. They were kind of heavy, so maybe $5 invested, but they sold very quickly on an offer for $40.39. This is another J. Crew piece. Once again, substantial piece in a men's cardigan. And it was also merino wool. Anything that you see that has like a nice plaid or hound's tooth also helps to add value. This is a gingham plaid. And we picked this up at the bins as well. It sold on an offer for $35.89. 
Next is one of my favorite brands to find, although I hardly ever come across it. The brand is Driftwood and they sell really unique embroidered jeans. These ones were called Kelly. You can see all the pretty embroidery throughout. If you see embroidery on jeans, I would definitely see if it is Driftwood because it does extremely well. We picked these up for $4.99 at a thrift store. They sold for our full asking price of $84.88. This is another Ben's pickup. This is Dansko. I actually do come across Dansko fairly often. However, it's usually not in a condition good enough to pick up. These ones were in fairly good condition. People love to wear out their Danskos. Pick these up at the Ben's. They sold for full asking price of $29.88. Here is an Under Armour hat. Hats are something I've been loving picking up at the bins, especially the cold weather hats like beanies, toboggans during this time of the year. And they're so, so easy to list. So probably paid maybe like 50 cents for this. Um, this is just a plain fleece beanie. We had this listed for $14.88. It sold for full asking price. Next is this LL Bean men's down jacket. Uh, this, I believe, got returned and then we relisted and then it sold immediately. So if this is your second time seeing this, that's why. We paid $4.99 for this at a thrift store. A lot of people pass on L.O. Bean, but I'm telling you guys, some of their pieces and their sweaters and their outerwear in the men's department do really well and they hold their resale value very well. Uh, we have this one listed at $74.89 and we accepted an offer of $65. This was another Benz pickup. I can't believe all the good shoes we've been finding at the Benz, and I can't believe no one snatched these. So this is the brand Ariat. I like picking up their shoes as well. Um, here's the logo as well as their clothing. These ones are a really, really nice, unique style, and it felt almost brand new. Uh, women's booties. We once again picked these up at the Benz. They sold very quickly on an offer for $80. This is another Ben's pickup. I was actually surprised how quickly this sold. This is a Banana Republic, very long kind of wrap uh, scarf, but it was a wool cashmere blend. So that is why we picked it up. And I really like the plaid colors for fall. I would say if you're at the Ben's and you see a scarf that could be considered like a wrap scarf that is really long like this one, I would consider picking it up if it is in a nicer material, regardless of brand. Uh, so this one we picked up at the bins and we accepted an offer of $22.50. Here's another Banana Republic item. I've been talking a lot about the older safari looking Banana Republic. That has a really great following. And um, I think last week I shared the safari bag by banana republic that did really good so that's what made me pick this shirt up after seeing the comps for that bag paid 439 for this it sold for 34.89 this is another knox rose this is actually just a sleeveless top and you'll see we try to include the word boho or bohemian i think that really helps to uh, pair well with this brand and help it to sell so got this one at the bins. It sold on an offer for $22.40. Another one of my favorite brands to sell, this is Prana. These are a pair of men's hiking pants. We sell these all day long. I'm so happy how many we've been finding picking up. Keep your eye out for this brand in both men's and women's, but especially in the hiking pants. We paid $4.99. They sold for full asking price of $34.89. We're now jumping into the Poshmark sales. I sold these pair of Sorel booties, paid $4.99 at a thrift store. They sold for $34. This brand just in general, amazing brand to sell. Definitely wanna watch the condition and that it is somewhat of a newer style, um, but the styles are pretty easy to look up and they have a following. This is an American Eagle top. This I picked up Full price at a thrift store for $4.29 because I did a comp specifically on American Eagle women's Hawaiian shirts and saw that they seem to have a following. This sold for my full asking price of $25 and so I was happy with that flip. Once again, Hawaiian print definitely adds value to a lot of brands. This is a brand we've been coming across more often. It has a super high sell-through rate. The brand is packed. They have, most of their stuff is 
organic cotton and they're known for being sustainable. This is just a sleeveless dress. We paid $4.99. It sold for $22. These are a pair of birdies flats. These remind me of the brand Rothy's where they have a super huge following for flats. Looking at it, you wouldn't honestly think that it was something worth looking into, but this is a really great brand to pick up. These were just a pair of white woven slip-on flats, really great condition, paid $4.99, they sold for $45. This is one of my favorite sales and finds of the week. This sold almost immediately after getting it listed. This is a Burberry London headband. And we found this at the bins. To be honest with you, it wasn't in the best shape. You'll see that we noted that the fabric here was coming up, um, as well as some light discoloration here. But regardless, we still accepted an offer of $40 for this headband. And this was something everyone passed on at the bins. I like looking for the hard goods at the very bottom of the bins, because sometimes these little things have really great profits. Had this not had the flaws that it did, I probably could have sold this for closer to $100. Next up is this ASOS cardigan, not a brand that I typically like picking up, but this was just a very unique cardigan, gave me the very cottage core, grandma core vibes, which is still very in, and so we picked it up. We paid $4.29, it sold for $25. Next up is a men's BKE Tyler flare leg jeans. BKE is a great brand to pick up in the men's department and they always uh, list the style here. Tyler's a good one to pick up. Great sell through rate. We paid $4.39. It sold for $34. This is a Ben's pickup. This is the brand Lacoste. This is a good brand to pick up in the men's department. However, you just want to make sure that it's not fake. Um, I don't think there's so much with fakes anymore, but they're used to, that used to be a big deal. So just keep your eye on it. Um, we sold this for $29 and it was just a V-neck sweater. Another Ralph Lauren piece. This is a women's merino wool sweater and it was also cable knit. Um, we picked this up for $4.39 and it sold for $25. I picked up this Stussy Hat um, online arbitrage, so I did pay up. I paid $17.99 for this. It sold for $40, so uh, close to doubling my money, but this has a really, really good sell-through rate, so I know that I would get my money back fast. Stussy and unique pieces can be a good brand to pick up. I would say definitely the hats, um, in particular the bucket hats, do well. Here is another Nike piece. This one is a hoodie, paid $4.39, sold for $26. Another pair of Sorrells, these ones we paid $4.99 for and they sold for $55. Was able to ask a little bit more for these because they are um, a more substantial piece. They were a suede and leather knee-high boot. And yeah, we got $55 for that. Was really happy with that sale. Another beanie, this is another bins pickup. This is the North Face. Once again, not, not a ton um, of profit, but when you're picking up at the bins for 50 cents and you can get it listed in less than two minutes, it's worth it to me. Super easy to ship as well. So we got it at the bins for probably 50 cents and it sold for 17. And last item is one of my favorite men's brands to sell and that is Peter Millar. These are a pair of wicking, kind of like golf khaki pants and they sold very quickly. We picked them up for $4.99 at a thrift store and they sold for $34. All right guys, so that's it for what sold last week. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how your Q4 sales are going for you. Stay safe during these holidays and I'll see you guys in the next video.